A routine checkup turned out to be not so routine for 74-year-old John Berriantos. Doctor came in and he says, you know, we just, uh, we found an aneurysm in your aorta. Like most people, the Omaha native and Navy veteran had no idea he had an aneurysm growing in his abdominal aorta. John was referred to UNMC, which is the clinical coordinating center for a large study on abdominal aortic aneurysms, along with 15 top academic medical centers across the United States. He will be one of hopefully 250 patients in the clinical trial of medical management of aneurysm disease. Some scientists believe the pills John takes every day will significantly slow aneurysm growth. John was more than willing to help out. If it does uh, stop the growth of it or even regresses it a little bit, then it, it's working and, and it's going to help a lot of people. Yeah. And that's one of the things that was that interested me. I'm, I'm, I'm an organ donor anyway, and if something, somebody can get a benefit out of my actions, then i go ahead and do it. Mr. Barrientos is a lucky guy to know that he has the aneurysm. And, you know, not only he's lucky that, that he knows that he has it, but, you know, he can notify his family members. Aneurysms affect 3 to 5 percent of the population, but they are considered a silent killer because there are no symptoms until an aneurysm ruptures. They are most common in men age 65 and older, have a family history, and are often smokers. You know, this trial essentially will you know, not only are we, you know, keeping a very close eye on, on their aneurysm, but if the trial works, uh, you know, rather than just saying that come back in a year and we'll get a CAT scan, uh, we can say, you know, come back in a year with, in a CAT scan, and we're also going to give you this medic medication that we think is, is going to be able to slow the growth of your aneurysm or potentially stop the growth. Fifty percent of the trials enrollees will receive the antibiotic doxycycline an inexpensive generic drug now widely used for acne and other conditions. If successful, it's a non-invasive, proactive approach. We're not sure that you know, it's going to cause the aneurysm to you know, heal and come back down to normal size. Uh, that probably won't happen, although we don't know. Um, <clears throat> but our hope is that we can stop or at least slow down the growth of the aneurysm to uh, avoid a major operation. With this trial study, John now has a potential alternative to surgery, and he encourages everyone to get an annual checkup, like the one he had that may have saved his life.